Thursday, April the 9th, and we are at around 10.45 a.m. And uh, thank you again, Melanie, for um, joining me so that we can help people through with some questions that they may have all around uh, what's happening in real estate and transactions and all the rest of it and how um, the stuff we're doing may be able to help somebody else, right? Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so today I'm talking with local lawyer Melanie Williams of Law in Motion, and uh, I'm Jennifer Foley, local realtor with Remax Rouge River. So Melanie, tell us, have there been any new developments in the last week relating to your practice, real estate transactions during the COVID-19 pandemic? So I think the biggest development has been kind of the changes to that essential services list that came down on Friday. Yeah. So the original list, lawyers were explicitly included, right? So there was no real change to our business. It was just a matter of finding different ways to meet clients. Yeah. But on Friday, the list changed drastically and we were removed. So there were different areas in which maybe we could find a way to make an argument to say we're included as legal services in support of justice or something to that effect mm -hmm. but it wasn't as clear cut as it was on the first list so it sort of prompted clients to to call in yeah. to see um if their deals would still close um and how that worked from from their perspective yeah now you are still actively working absolutely okay so working virtually and Okay. Yeah, so I'm in the office today because there's a few closings. So we're still um, coming in to cut the checks. I still go to the banks to make sure that the client banking gets done on time. So those things you really can't do from home. So there mm -hmm. is still ways that we come into the office and get what needs to be done completed. Excellent. And so with the new developments that have come out in the last week, um, what does that look like for you, your clients, your buyers, your sellers um, who are closing deals right now? Yeah, so they're from like from my office, we've kind of moved everything virtually. So when we spoke last week, we were still in the office, still doing business behind closed doors. But now to a greater extent, we're working from home. Um, and we're still meeting clients online. So there hasn't been really a huge change. Um, I, I think it's interesting though that lawyers got the boot considering um, we're all part and parcel of the same bicycle wheel, right? So the real estate spoke and the bank spoke and the land registry office spoke, they all continue to work whereas we've kind of been cut out of that so i think well, it's interesting because i mean in order for real estate to function which we are deemed an essential service because shelter is something that is essential um and you know certainly some people have stepped back from their buying and selling process and others have moved forward for you know one reason or another and you know, we can put the transactions together, but we rely on lawyers to finalize that with the lenders and the clients in order to make that transaction solidify on the day of closing. Right. So I think the best message for clients from like when they think about it like that is that we're still here, we're still sp supporting them, we're still client focused um, as always. It's just we've had to ways to continue to get that done mm -hmm. now the land registry offices you mentioned they're still open and functioning and closing transactions and no issues there um, have you found any delays between um, the land registry office um, in light of the COVID-19 or have you noticed any um, delays with the lenders you know um, putting forward the financing on closing for those people that require a mortgage or financing mm -hmm. have you have you noticed any delays in that in the last uh, week or so so I I've noticed delays in actually getting the instructions I understand that the bank and other lenders are inundated with requests right now. So there is a delay with getting those instructions out from their back office to our office to enable us to actually meet with the clients and get the deals closed on time. But once we get the instructions, we're able to hit the ground running. By instructions, um, let's just um, break it down for people what, what that exactly means. Like what, what are instructions? 
Yeah, so it's when the bank, so once they've signed up at the branch level, then it yeah. goes to the bank's back office and they prepare the mortgage documents. So the instructions tell us how the bank wants that mortgage registered on title. Okay. okay. We're, we, we're waiting for those documents and what their conditions are, right? So do they require title insurance? Do they require um, certain affidavits? So sometimes if you've been married- Did they, did they require their house to be sold? Right, exactly. So all of those conditions- yeah, or close successfully. Did it close successfully if they had a house to sell? Okay. Right. Very good. All right. Well, I want to say thank you so much for taking the time and uh, speaking with me today. And I want to put it out there that if anybody has any specific questions, Melanie and I are going to be doing this weekly. And if there's any specific questions that you have, uh, post them in the comments below or uh, direct message us and we'll be happy to answer any questions that you may have uh, during this time. Thanks again, Melanie. Thank you and have a great long weekend. Yeah, you too. Thanks.